Well, that was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit, heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Maybe it was another one.
remaining DC fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. Bell, I need you to turn around and go into the cave. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently.
The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. The report says the bunker was down the left path, not the right. This isn't right. Can Bell still hear me? Use the grass for cover. Bell, you noticed a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed the ladder. Bell, go back and climb the ladder. The bunker's that way. You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. Bell, your report distinctly mentions the village as your destination. It doesn't mention a zipline. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Bell keeps switching scenarios. Now he's running eleven. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Bell keeps switching scenarios. Bell is running a weapon. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Inside the house hit by napalm, you find a hidden bunker door. A lab? That doesn't sound right. Bell's in the lab?
This isn't working. Administering one cc of adrenaline. That's it, Bell. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. To establish trust by building up a shared history for the subject. We have a job to do. Another dose. We'll do scenario six again. Bell, we've got a job to do. I wouldn't advise that. I didn't ask. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a fire. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Crossing a bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA two minutes.
guide on this mission? Seeing a firefight is ready. He showed up a warning test. Chopper to the station. Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA two minutes. bunker entrance you described in the report. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Give Bell another injection. That could be... Do it, now! Bell's heart rate is already... Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Good. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down. Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume.
known each other for years. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. Been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. Can Bell survive another round? Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead, next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. 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 You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead.
the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. <laughs> We were there. We found you after everything went down. Over here! We've got a line one! The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. You even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Are your hands clean, Bell? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job, on, we've got a job to do. Job. You've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. For the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. 
Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
Flüg! They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. My hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. 
What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision at your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 